Minister Maru explained that the Tony Blair Institute is a non-profit organization that was established by the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Tony Blair, who during his tenure as Prime Minister implemented a major domestic policy agenda and through record investment and reforms, the performance of the UK's education and healthcare sectors was radically improved, crime was reduced by a third, and a landmark legislation to tackle climate change was introduced. All these were done in the context of record economic growth and employment levels. They have offices in over 50 countries around the world and have led countries, businesses, NGOs, think tanks and charities and have advised presidents and assisted prime ministers. Maru further stated that TBI is funded in two ways, by reimbursement of cost by countries they operate in or by being funded by sponsors to operate in various countries, including donor agencies. Moreover, Minister Maru said that discussions will be held with the Prime Minister James Marape and the government to have an agreed date for TBI to visit PNG for an initial exploratory discussion with Prime Minister on the possible establishment of their office in Port Mosby. Minister Maru furthermore stated that PNG had many development challenges and needed every help from organizations like the TBI, who not only had the experience, but also had the global reach. PNG can benefit from many of the networks that TBI have right across the world and also learn from the development experience of the rest of the world. To be able to take advantage of their establishment and their relationships, including developing a far better relationship with the UK, who have offered to assist PNG to transition into a green economy in the area of carbon credit and biodiversity credit, with other areas of international trade that will be of benefit to Papua New Guinea.